Moab Assured Destroyer, or the MAD, is the tier 5 upgrade of the Dartling Gunner's middle path in Bloons Tower Defense 6, and it has an interesting history behind it. The tower is in the military category, and the name is a wordplay on the military doctrine Mutual Assured Destruction, which is a nuclear strategy that says that a nuclear war between two countries with second strike capabilities would lead to the complete annihilation of them both, deterring a first strike. And the second wordplay is in the first abbreviation in the name. Moab. In BTD6 that means Massive Ordinary Air Blimp, but in reality it is also a short for Massive Ordnance Air Blast, or more commonly called Mother of All Bombs, which is the name of a large yield bomb produced by the United States in 2003. And as the name of the tower suggests, it provides some of the most extreme Moab damage attacks in the game, excluding abilities, paragons and insta-kill attacks. Before we go into the history of this tower, and how strong it used to be, let's talk about how strong the tower is today and see how much stronger we can make it using all possible buffs in the game. The 050 MAD fires missiles every 0.4 seconds, alternating between each arm. That does 550 bonus damage to MOAB class balloons, and produces multiple explosions per collision that deals 3 normal damage each, for a maximum of 553 damage per hit to a MOAB class balloon. Each missile has 12 peers and explodes up to 6 times. Crosspathing the MAD with the bottom path allows the tower to rotate twice as fast and also gives plus 2 peers and plus 1 explosion. The top path gives the MAD more accurate firing and also adds a shock effect which deals 1 damage to balloons 1 second after they were hit, and also causes any balloon that currently has the shock effect to take plus 1 damage from any incoming attack from Dartling Gunners with this upgrade. In this video, we will give the MAD the maximum amount of buffs, and use it on a map with a lot of straight lines. Because of all the buffs we will give to the MAD, it will get a lot of extra peers already, so we will benefit more from the increased accuracy of the top path, as often is the case. The MAD also has an ability called the Rocket Storm, which fires waves of 9 purple missiles every 0.5 seconds for 8 seconds, and visually, the MAD sends out a pinkish pulse around it whenever it fires. With the right monkey knowledge, these missiles can also stun Moab class balloons for a short period of time. The extreme damage of the MAD means that damage buffs won't do much in terms of the ultimate DPS of the tower, but increases in attack speed will do wonders. To maximize the attack speed, we will buff the MAD with the Temple and Sun God buff for a total of 40% extra attack speed, 10 stacks of Permanent Ultra Boost for 66.7% extra attack speed, and a Perma Brew for 17.6% more attack speed, Jungle Drums for another 17.6%, and Homeland Defense for another 100%. And then, add an Energizer and Tech Pot the Ultra Boost to the MAD for another 66.7% at 100% uptime. This way you will have both the temporary and the permanent effects of the Ultra Boost at all times. Next, we use Isili's Totem for another 17.6% extra attack speed. And lastly, we will also use Powers to see how much further we can push this tower. The powers we will use are the Energizing Totem and the Monkey Boost for 25% and 100% extra attack speed, respectively. Now, even though the Call to Arms and Homeland buff don't stack, and the Ultra Boost and the Overclock does not stack, both icons will still display, although it won't cause the tower to attack any faster. But of course, the more icons, the cooler it looks. We're hopping onto Resort to see this tower in action, and boy does it shred Moabs to pieces. How much single target DPS do you think it has? To make the counting a bit easier, let's exclude the extra Moab damage from the buffs and the cross paths, and just say that each shot gives 550 damage. The 050 MAD shoots every 0.4 seconds, so that's 1375 single target DPS. Using our simplified calculation, we just need to know how fast the super buffed MAD is shooting. 
Slowing it down in my editing software, I counted 60 shots per second, giving us a single target DPS of 33,000. And again, this is not counting the extra damage from the cross paths or the buffs. And this is without the ability being active, and while only attacking one target, even though the pierce allows for many more targets to receive the same amount of damage. That means that it could easily take down the tier 4 elite Blunarius alone. In other words, it's a monster. Here it is taking down round 200 on its own with ease. And as you may notice, the normal missiles go through the bad because of their peers, but the ability missiles don't. It appears that the ability missiles cannot be buffed in terms of peers, but the ability speed can be buffed. Counting everything in, the MAD is capable of hundreds of thousands of damage per second versus mob class balloons. Because of this, the main use of the MAD is versus bosses and in late game situations. And while the MAD is a very strong tower, it used to be a lot stronger. The Dartling Gunner was released on December 3rd, 2020 with update 22.0. And at the point of release, it was incredibly OP. And despite this, one of the first things that Ninja Kiwi did in the next major update was to buff the tower even more by reducing the price to make it more affordable in chimps, and also to make the increased accuracy of the top path even better. As of release, the MAD had 750 extra more damage instead of the current 550. On top of this, the ability lasted for 10 seconds instead of 8, and had a cooldown of 30 seconds instead of the current 40 seconds. And if you recall, the ability can stun mob class balloons if you have the right monkey knowledge. The stun currently lasts for 0.1 seconds, but back then, it used to last for 0.5 seconds. And also, the Rocket Storm missiles also had 6 base damage instead of the current 5, and ability missiles could also shoot through any line of sight blockers, unlike today when missiles are blocked by obstacles. All this meant that you did not need a lot of attack speed for the ability to be able to stun mob class balloons to a halt when the ability was active, and due to the shorter ability cooldown and longer ability duration, this was very powerful. In Ninja Kiwi's own words, the Rocket Storm ability was too powerful as a just spam whenever it's ready type. If you played on any map with a lot of the track overlapping itself or a map with a lot of straight lines, you really did not need to micro the MAD. There was no need to target the tower manually, but just set a permanent targeting and spam the ability whenever it's ready, and you will not only get your money's worth, but a lot more. On top of this, if you did micro the MAD, of course you could get a crazy amount of MOAB damage onto your target. The MAD was used in every boss run on every map because of how perfectly the tower fit into the bossing part of the game, which is why they decided to lower the damage from 750 to 550, to force players to use a variety of towers depending on the map instead of always defaulting to the MAD, which may get too repetitive. Later, Ninja Kiwi addressed the Gorgon Storm monkey knowledge, saying that it was clearly overtuned for a single monkey knowledge point. The high amount of projectiles, together with the long stun duration, made it too easy to perma stall MOABs. But even after this update, this was still true. As Ninja Kiwi said themselves, it will still be extremely powerful. But this was changed further in the very next major update when the ability duration was reduced. Ninja Kiwi mentioned that the ability was way too strong for an ability that is affected by buffs, and they were not wrong. Despite all these nerfs, the MAD is still to this day very powerful and often used in late game situations. When it comes to bossing, it is no longer the option that is always preferred, but choosing the MAD is still fairly common. It is still often used in the later tiers as a tower in the background to try and add some extra DPS for the players going for ranked speedrun records. Although the glory days of the godlike Moab Ashore Destroyer has passed, the tower is still very popular overall and given the number of major updates that has passed since the last change, 
it seems the Mad has found a good balance as a tower in the Bloons Tower Defense 6 game. If you enjoyed learning about the history of this tower, consider leaving a like and subscribing for more videos like this one and I will see you next time.